Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. I got a good one for you. Got a good one for you today. Why are you still single and you're over 30? A lot of people are still single over 30. And we see from back in the day, everyone who was below, above 30 had like a family, a kid. People from 18, 20 back in the day had a family. It wasn't just, you weren't just waiting around till you were 30 trying to find stuff. Like find a woman or find a husband. Um, they say now that, oh, it's just too expensive now. And we, we have more options and the world's a lot bigger place. So that's why we haven't found who we, who we want yet at 30 years old. But that's bullshit, bro. If you are over 30 and you don't have a significant other who you're building with, you're broken. You're broken. It's cool. Uh, I have diagnosed it down to three things that's really messing you up in your head to why you're over 30 and you don't have a significant other. Now, this is me already throwing out all of the classic arguments that people use. Oh, I'm working on myself. I'm building. I'm trying to develop myself into a man or woman. And then I'll get... I'm putting off uh, my career, you know, I'm putting my career first and then I'll get a husband or a wife. Bro, that's cap, 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 cap. Like, if there was a person who was there for you, you would have met and you would have been able to accomplish all these things with that husband or wife you're looking for. Like, I'm in a relationship. I'm telling you. I, and I wasn't even that type of person. But I got one. Because something around 30, you develop your set of world values, your beliefs, and you've you settle for someone who you love and like, and it all works out. It all works out perfectly. And for the majority of people who have a woman, a man in their life, it worked out because they just got on with it. And it's beautiful. But for you single mother, for you single people out here, I'm going to let you know you got a problem. There's three reasons why you are still single and you're over 30. And we're just going to jump right into it. Let's go. Number one is because you are set in your ways, okay? You don't want to change your behavior. And you swear that you know what you like. Let's face it. You've been on plenty of dates. You've been in plenty of relationships. You know what you like, don't like. You swear that you've got it all figured out now. You know what makes you feel good. You know what you don't, you're not interested in. And also for the last... I don't know, 20 years you've been telling yourself that you're waiting for something that's going to be amazing. But, bruh, problem is you're just stubborn. You're just stubborn. You don't know what you like. You don't know what you want because if you would have just opened up to yourself, you would have found that thing already. You were set in your ways, and you don't want to change that. And when you meet other people who are set in their ways and you're set in your ways too, it doesn't make for a really good, productive relationship. It screws everything up, actually. So solution, be more malleable. Be more flexible. If it's something that you don't think you like, just try it anyway. Because you don't want to die alone. Okay? It's not that hard. Number two, you don't want to put in any extra work. You... People in their 30s and 40s trying to date, they it's like they're in some imaginary flea market or swap meet. They want to get a deal. They want to get a person who's double. You know, they want to get a person who's double what they are for half the price. They don't want they want it to come easy. They just want to Meet someone and it all works out. The text conversation works great. The first date works great great um the there's just magic there's fireworks no one says a bad word no one says a misstep no one gets words misconstrued and that's bullshit bro and that's why i, I feel like that's the biggest reason why a lot of people in their 30s still don't get this figured out because when they go on these dates and something happens someone doesn't text the other person back um Someone's demeanor is a little weird, throws you off on the first date. Um, you just immediately negate them, right? 
or if, if you have a great time and they don't text you back the next day, you're like, oh, see, look, see, I knew it. They're tripping. They ain't text me back. Or if their conversation is dry one day, you're like, oh, here they go, being dry, one word conversations again. Here we go. I can't really get into that. And it's like, oh, my God, just bear with them. You don't know this person yet. Like, give them a chance. Give them a little opportunity to make this work. It, learn each other. Um, there's, it's not going to be fireworks on the first go around. You can work with someone. Every, you know, Michael Jordan wasn't the best just out of the womb. He had to get a coach. Him and the coach had to learn each other. He had to play on a team. He had to grow. You got to give someone some leeway, okay? You, you're not, you're going to have to put in a little more extra work than you think it's going to take. Um, and no one wants to do that. It's like you have two sides of people who are just arguing on both sides and they just are rigid and they just don't want to give in to the other person. And it just causes everything to stagnate. So suck it up and shoot that extra check, that text. If your girl wants you to open the door for her, open the door for her. If she wants to be treated like a princess for a little while, treat her like a princess. If a man wants you to laugh at his jokes for a little bit, just laugh at his jokes for a little bit. Just work with them, baby. Come on. And number three, which is a big one, which is one reason why it took me so long, is you're afraid of being vulnerable. By this time that you are 30, you feel like you are emotionally intelligent. You feel like you have it all together. You know the type of life that you want. You know what you want that your significant other to exude. You know the passion that you want to see, that you want to feel. You know exactly what your partner is supposed to be. And the thing is, it's all in here, and you don't put it out into the world. You don't set your intentions. You don't let the other people know your feelings because you don't want to come off as weird. Um, and one thing you also don't try to do is have a partnership with the person that you're engaging with. You try to have them to a criteria that's stricter than one that you were getting judged by. If you were in school, man, you're judging these people like you're on Judge Judy. You're judging them like you, they're asking for a credit application. When a lot of the people that you've been moving and shaking around, you didn't really hold to that same high standard. You know, you had to be vulnerable with a person. Put it all on the table. Show them what you have. Show them what you're working with. Show them who you want to become. Open up to them. Really be a partner with them. Show them some feelings. Show them that you care. It's not all about finessing or not getting finessed. Or, you know, a lot of guys are afraid about getting finessed and don't want to take an L. But you have to be vulnerable, you know, with that L, because you might get the W. So, bro, just just chill in your 30s. Realize that you're going to have to put in some little extra work. You're going to have to adjust a little bit. Just be a little soft around the edges. Explain yourself. Have a little bit more time. Be a little bit more patient with the person you're working with. Develop a partner. Be real with your intentions. And this is going to solve all this, okay? It's not about game. It's not about drip. It's just just be normal. Just work with the person and have a good time. That's all you got to do. So that's it for this one, man. Y'all be easy out here. And if you're over 30, you need to find someone. Because you don't want to die alone. And you got to get some kids popping out. It's just nature. Like, find that person ASAP. Peace.